Hi everybody, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here I am in Power Director 18 looking at some of the new features. One of the coolest and most obvious new features in version 18 is something called the Shape Designer. And with the Shape Designer, we can create a graphic or an overlay that we can place and reuse on top of our video. And I'll show you how that works. If you go over to the Picture in Picture room, also known as a video overlay room. You may notice a couple of new options here at the top of the screen. We'll select all content. You can modify existing pictures and pictures or create your own picture and picture. Or if you go right here, create a new shape, you can open up the shape designer. Now the shape designer comes with a number of preset shapes, including basic shapes like rectangles, round edge rectangles, circles. It also has some arrows, good for indicating things in your videos. A call out down here at the bottom for pointing out a person or, or an object in your videos and some thought and speech bubbles. I'm just going to select the thought bubble here and once we select it we can resize it and reshape it any way we want. It doesn't matter how large you make it you can resize it once you use it in your actual video. Under shape presets you can apply a look to your graphic. And it doesn't matter whether you do or you don't, you can still modify it underneath. We can uh, adjust the fill. And again, I can change that fill to say pure white. And then in the next category, I can add say a black outline instead of a green outline. Number of modifications, including the shape and the width of the border around your graphic. And then finally down here in title, you can add custom text to the inside of your graphic. So I'm going to have my custom text. And you know what? I'm going to change my custom text here to black rather than green. And I'm just going to add some custom text to my thought bubble. Once I've done that, of course, I can modify the text. I can change its font, its size, whatever. And once I'm happy with the results, I can save it either by selecting Save As or clicking OK. Either way, I'm prompted to give it a name. I'm going to just call this and once I save it it will appear in the custom category here under picture in picture it becomes a permanent part of my collection I'm going to drag it to an upper video track over my existing video just like that and then once it's there I can select it in the preview window and resize it and position it wherever I'd like And let me move this a little further down into my video. There we go. So now we can apply it. Now we've added a thought to our character in our video. Now we can modify this, of course. I'm going to just double click on it here on the timeline. In addition to the properties of the graphic and the text itself, you can keyframe some animation for it. So if you go over here to the keyframe tab here in the shape designer, you can, and again, I show you how to do this in the book. You can change its position, its shape, even its rotation so that it follows a character in your video or changes size or shape or position throughout your video. So you can customize it any way you need to. But it's kind of a cool new feature, a great way to create your own pictures and pictures here in version 18 of CyberLink Power Director. And if you want to know more about Power Director, check out the tips and tutorials we got at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about this wonderful program, check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. It's available at amazon.com. I'm the author. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.